The plastic bags produced in Iyad Munzer's factory are sold across the Middle East. He has a workforce of 50 and the factory runs day and night. But it only gets electricity from the grid for a few hours a day. Generators at the factory provide the rest. We need lots of diesel. The big 640 kilowatt generator uses 80 liters an hour, or more than 1,500 liters a day. That much fuel costs between 12 and 13 thousand dollars every day. Burning one liter of diesel fuel results in emissions of about three kilograms of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Munzer would like to switch to clean energy. A new project involves setting up green energy generation systems, linking them up to the grid, and installing a net metering system to track the flows of electricity. If you feed green energy into the grid, you get credits, so you can later take the same amount of energy from the grid. Energy from renewable sources helps make the system more stable, reducing the frequency of power outages. The United Nations Development Agency set up the project, called CEDRO. Its engineers have drawn up a wind map of Lebanon to identify the best locations for new wind turbines. It's a very a good solution. Uh, first, it gives you electricity and then you, you reduce your CO2 emissions and you save the environment. A number of schools are involved in the project. Their solar panels light the classrooms on sunny days. Excess energy goes into the grid, earning the school's credits for cloudy days. Then they can draw power from the grid, as long as there's no outage. Before we had this system, we used to have our own generator, which uh, costs a lot. And most of the neighbors here, they ask me what's this and what we use it for. And they are very, uh, you know, uh, eager to do such a project. A few weeks earlier, engineers involved in the project attended a seminar in Berlin. It was about the integration of wind and solar energy into the grid, how it can make the grid more stable, the latest technology and associated problems. Uh, it makes us see what is possible and it helps us set uh, as well uh, steps into how to achieve the goals we've set. So the technology we've taken, I mean, the, the knowledge we, we have seen here. This photovoltaic system on a high rise in Beirut is connected to the grid and a net metering system has been installed. When the sun shines, electricity costs decline and now they rarely have to fire up the diesel generator. <laughs>